Okay, so obviously we've done something here. Fatality. And inside this cool little box is something. And oh my god, Max betrayed us. This kind of reminds me of the first Indiana Jones game. Didn't we get betrayed in the like the one of the first cutscenes of the game too? And there's whatever that chrysalis thing is, it's attracting all the metal, and... Oh look, he's got a little outfit. <laughs> oh, maybe I just can't catch a break, it seems. Go after him! Yeah, I'm running. Too bad we can't do any of this ourselves. Alright, so he avoids the thing, and... Oh look, I can do my laundry now! And play! Who's this guy? Oh wait, you're that guy that was out of the bathroom! Anyways, uh, can you do anything? Oh snap, you got keys! <laughs> Driving like a boss! Yeah, I distinctly remember watching this in the trailer of the movie and... Wait, what the hell?! I do believe we just seen a movie paradox, ladies and gentlemen! Anyways, um... Oh god, it's a boss guy! Or it's something. Doshenkov, I think is his name. Anyways, now I now I think we do those vehicle switches here. We use this truck that was conveniently thrown over the edge over there and there's a cutscene and blah blah blah. That guy's throwing grenades at us, how nice. And let's move this tricycle back on this button here. And now that both the vehicle buttons are pressed, now this little thing over here unlocks. Alright, so let's go off the track before we get hit by a grenade. Alright, hit a few things, and let's pull this switch, and that unlocks that ladder there. <laughs> I just got front... Uh, I just got hit by a grenade, and I survived. Thank you, cutscenes. Anyways, I did that because when you try to engage this guy, he runs like a little chicken. So, um, let's go ahead and go back over here again. I managed to get all the boosts that time, like a boss. And that's probably the third time I've used it, that line in this level. And just run over here, and he'll run to this little spot here. Try to get another cutscene where you crash through some window or whatever. All right, so obviously Indiana is out of his element because he's doing pretty bad for a fight right now, and they're setting off random military technology. That's safe. Yeah, obviously they don't know what to do. Oh my god, it's a spider thing. Oh my god, he has a chain whip! My god, this isn't going well. And now that thing's on fire! Oh wait, that's good. Okay, no, it's not. Oh great, now he's on top of it. And he's got a gun, what the hell? This is so unfair. Alright, so here's, uh, I guess you got the boss of, uh, this little level here. He only has three hearts though, so it isn't that bad. So yeah, uh, it's a good idea to clear out this area first before you do anything. And what you can do is, uh, first, target him with your whip. And what you can do in this game is that if you actually target an enemy with your whip, you can actually wrap them up with your whip and, like, have them subdued for a while. And if you actually disconnect your whip, they, they'll, like, stay there for a few seconds before becoming free. Now, a thing about uh, this battle you want to be careful of is do not get very close to him. Like, try and uh, target him from afar because... He has the ste that steel whip, and if you get close to him, he'll actually do what you're d uh, I'm doing to him right now and disable you for a few seconds. And then you can get hurt by his gun and stuff. But look at that, he's already defeated him. Holy crap, we gotta get out of here. Alright, I don't see what that was supposed to accomplish. Surprise! Man, that must hurt. <laughs> Of course, nobody is having a good time here, it seems. And down he goes! I'm surprised I didn't kill him. Oh look, a show! Whee! Flat. Oh, that was entertaining. Okay, so after all that, we unlock a new character, the Janitor. And, um, oh look, Rhea's the Lost Ark box is now available, and the Creator box. Uh, we won't be dealing with that just yet. We will continue with this story and blow this thing up here. But first, uh, achievement I gotta talk about 
It's the not as easy as it used to be. Basically, you complete the level that I just did in under five minutes. In order to do that, basically all you do is this, uh, you have to skip the cutscenes, which you can in this game. Thank God. Basically what you do is you press A and then you press Y. But yeah, you have to skip the cutscene, and I advise doing it in quick play mode. Quick play mode is actually something I won't be showing for a, an extremely long time, surprisingly enough, but um... Yeah, a random rocket ride here. <laughs> but yeah, I advise going in, uh, trying that achievement in the quick play mode. Um, and yeah, so... We're now in this isolated area here. Here is something that obviously we need uh, some white boxing for. And here's a bunch of holographic uh, gold treasures. Two things I won't be able to show just yet. And we appear to be in a small town full of inanimate people. Interesting. So anyways, let's go inside this house because that green arrow tells us to. Okay, that was a bit un unneeded. Oh look, a dog. Oh wait, it's a fake dog. Oh look, people! Oh, it gets fake people. Unless there's Sith. Oh, cr oh crap! That's a nuclear bomb, isn't it? Oh my god, everyone panic! Why aren't we panicking? Because we're gonna try and get out of here. Anyways, this is the second level of Doomtown, I believe it's called. I don't know. I don't really remember the names offhand. Uh, so, yeah. Besides what... Uh, um, yeah, be... Him. I'm sorry, I'm getting my tongue tied again. But despite what you may think, you actually aren't timed in this mission. Like, you know, yeah, there's a nuclear bomb about to go off, but you're you're not timed at all. So you, you can take as long as you want in here, so don't feel rushed or anything. So yeah, um, first you have to find those two little buildable things, and once you do, you build that tile thing, push that side, and then you pull that switch, it kills that mannequin, and you can go upstairs. So, yeah, the, the missions in this game, like, they 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 actually follow along a simple path, uh, like, a, a predictable pattern. There's almost, like, one type of mission per game, and uh, you could call this, like, the um, exploration mission, I guess. Um, yeah, like, the last one, the, the, uh, the Hangar Havoc that we just did, um, oh, look, yeah, real quick, another whip switch. But, yeah, the Hangar Havoc we just did is kind of like the normal course, where you have the bit of exploration, and then you got the boss at the end. But... Yeah, this is more just, this is just more puzzle heavy. But yeah, getting that wood switch unveils that little key there. And we saw a little key panel right outside. So, and yeah, there's a white arrow. They'll, they'll point to you where everything is, so don't worry about it. Alright, another orange loop, so that means another whip. And anticlimactically allows us to go up to the roof of, or no, not the roof, the attic. Then again, I, I don't really go into the attic of my house, so... Uh, what do I know? So yeah, obviously a few things we can... Wait, that's buildable. What is this build? Uh, looks like a rocking chair that does absolutely nothing but give us a few more extra studs and blow up. Yeah, so, uh, another thing we gotta build here. And obviously we push this thing, so... Oh look, blue stud, yay! Alright, so let's push this over here, and then we will push this all the way to the right. Now, something that you'll notice uh, between that last level and then this level is that there are no artifacts in this game. Uh, I'm not kidding here. Like, I know in all the last uh, the last game, you would have like you'd have to collect ten little treasure chests and stuff like that. But in this game, that is actually absent. And yeah, it's like I, I I've played so many Lego games in my time, and like every last one of them had that little feature in it. There was always like ten mini kits in the Star Wars thing, or like. 10, like, Batman Lego kits in the uh, Batman Lego game, but this game is, like, the first that doesn't have any of those collectible mini kit things, which is really weird. So, yeah, anyways, uh, build that stuff so allows you to go out here. Uh, before you go down, make sure to pick this up and drop down with it. So, now that we're down here, there's the little white arrow, so obviously we can put this over here, and then building this... Allows us to make a lawnmower that goes on the crazy. It has a thirst for blood and it died. Yay! We survived. So anyway, here's a nice place to get a few extra studs here. <laughs> oh, man, I'm already out of breath. I'm, I've been talking a lot. And I am doing all this recording in one like one go though, so pardon me. 
Anyways, um, oh, I'm knocking that little shed here. I guess it's a shovel, and the shovel mechanic is the same. Basically, you dig stuff up with it. Uh, but only if there are sparkles next to the ground. Now, this, now there's a level I just um, unveiled, and pulling it does uh, something. Okay, that was a, bit, a little useless. So we'll dig up this little patch here, and it's a few sticks of dynamite. Why do we need that? Well, I'll go in here to get a few extra studs. And you'll notice that the ultimate goal of this is that refrigerator with a metal lock at the back of it. So people who have seen the movie are obviously, uh, obviously know what infamous scene we're about to play out in this game. So early, too. Only the second level. So yeah, dynamite blows up after a while in your hands, so you want to make sure you do this as fast as possible. Aim at the metal lock, and there we go. That chicken leg will save us! No, it won't. We're actually going to get inside the fridge. So yeah, the infamous get inside the fridge and you survive a nuclear holocaust myth. So yes, flying dogs, check. Flying cars. Flying refrigerator. Check. Flying people. I want to check when I'm dead. And we land on that guy's car. <laughs> Hope he has insurance. Derp. So yeah, now we're back in this town here. Uh, there are sparkles there, but we don't have a shovel anymore, sadly, so we can't do anything with it. However, we do have this janitor here, and he has a broom that we can attack stuff with. Yay. Oh. Ah, crap! I didn't mean to do that. That is a power brick item. I did not mean to smash that. I was hoping to save that for a future video. I'll explain that when I do. So, sorry about that. Okay, so after a brief little pause there, let's head on to the next mission. I hope to fit it in time. I don't know how much time I've wasted so far. And anyways, in front of this little diner here, we see a new character. Mutt, the son of Indiana Jones. So apparently he did someone between uh, saving his father and this. And creepy old men, yay. Fantastic. At least he has nice hair, though. Uh -uh. So yeah, obviously archaeological battle that we can't understand because Legos can't speak English. And uh-oh. Holy crap, did that guy just say Mutt? <laughs> Wait, we can take him. Force can easily beat guns. And wait, now that guy has a fork. What the hell? Okay, so we've just unleashed hell on this little diner here. And here's the third mission of Diner Mayhem or something like that. I don't know. I don't really want to pay attention to the names, like I said. And this is um, this is one of the this is the shortest type of mission that you'll find in this game. The pretty much the brawl levels. Basically, all you do is just you just fight. All you do is just kill enemies, that's it. That's all you do in these missions. So it does make True Adventure a little difficult to do, but yeah, so. All right, so these tan guys here, we can't hurt them, so obviously we're gonna kill one of these gray guys here and get his gun, because that's the only way that appears to kill these guys. I guess you can pick up those chairs too and probably kill them too, but yeah, bullets win. All right, so obviously crap is hitting the fan. <laughs> Oh, you better pay for that! Alright, so yeah, more enemies, blah... So yeah, these these missions are always really easy, really fast to accomplish, and... Yeah, just... If you're worried about True Adventure, just come back in here with like one of those multipliers that you'll get, and you will get those in the game eventually. And just like that, I believe the mission is over! <laughs> See, like I said, quick and easy. Unfortunately, though, I think I've pretty much run over my amount of time, probably twice over by now. So this is Gary Christian 9 with Let's Play LEGO Indiana Jones 2. And in the next episode, I will continue along the story missions of Crystal Skull Part 1. Oh my god, are those guys are talking me? I gotta end the video now! Ah!